going live as we speak. We are live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. Just a, just a second. I'll turn the screen a little bit. No, I'll, I'll leave it like this. I'll be out. There we go. All right. So, uh, hello, everyone. How's uh, how's Berlin? <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> there we go. That sounds good. All right. So, if you would, um, hey, there we go. Lovely people. How's it going? I'm I'm in the U.S. today. It's a little early. It's 10 a.m. over here, but I'll do anything. Bend over backwards for Zignify and the team over there with Sebastian. So. I appreciate you guys showing up live today. Sebastian, I'm going to mute you so I'm not getting feedback. There we go. And let's get started. So, Sebastian, we're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I think I shared those links with you. So I looked it up, guys. I've been to Berlin numerous times. But the last time, the most recent time, was in 2010. I had a lot more hair back then. But Munich and um, and Frankfurt's where I spend uh, most of my time. So, Love Germany. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon.com as a profitable customer acquisition channel and 10x your sales. If you scan the QR code on the screen here, you'll be able to download all of the slides in this presentation. And I will also give you another opportunity to do so when I finish the presentation. So let me leave uh, this screen up for just a moment and let you go ahead and, and uh, download those slides. I want to thank you, Gatita, Scale for Etail. Thank you, Avask, uh, Fortunet, and the team you guys have over there. You're doing a fabulous job with this. So let's move forward. So when it comes to Amazon, a lot of us approach it differently. So I want to warn you, this is not the type of strategy that you're going to see in an Amazon seller course. In fact, what I'm going to share with you today will fundamentally shift how you build listings and how you scale those brands on Amazon. All right, so let me warn you, you're not going to get anything out of the presentation today if you're not paying attention. So since you're never going to get a chance to see this again, I just want to kindly ask that you silence your phones, stop playing on Facebook, and pay attention. Because what I'm sharing with you will definitely give you, my friend, a massive advantage and it is the most profitable thing that you could be doing with your time right now. So you can feel good about giving this your undivided attention. Let me take a quick poll here, Sebastian. I want you to raise your hand if you agree. If you think the most valuable asset of your business is the product that you sell, then raise your hand. Let me see. I don't see anyone there. What is it the most valuable asset of your business? Is it the real estate by show of hands? Do you believe that the most valuable asset in your business is your customer? Raise your hand if you believe this. Okay, I got a couple of you. What? If, how many of you believe that the most valuable asset is your brand? Okay, got a few more. How about the goodwill and reputation of that brand? How many of you believe that is the most valuable? No one? Okay, well, customers, I'm going to prove to you, are the most valuable asset. In fact, it's the only asset of your business that you cannot survive without. You can have a good name, you can have a good brand, you can have a great product and a beautiful website. But if you have no customers, you have no business. You just have what we call a very expensive hobby. In fact, I'm gonna give you a gift right this moment. I'm gonna share with you, just for showing up today live in Berlin, I'm gonna share with you my master customer care template. If you go to this URL, pppro.co slash customer care or scan the QR code, I'm going to give you a template that you can use when answering almost any of those tough questions that come from your Amazon buyers. It looks like this. It's a simple copy and paste solution that you can use when you're answering customer service emails. It looks like most of you scanned it. What I'm sharing with you today helped me accidentally add an additional $62.7 million in sales on Amazon using three simple steps. So I want to make you a promise today. I promise my German friends that I'm going to show you why everything you thought you knew about growing your Amazon business is probably wrong and how you should be leveraging Amazon to create a wildly profitable and valuable business instead of just fulfilling orders. There are three core misbeliefs that I've identified in our industry, unfortunately. Maybe you're sitting here and you believe 
that the best way to make more money is to attract new customers to your Amazon listings. Or number two, maybe you believe that customers who are already shopping on Amazon are the best source of traffic that you have. Or maybe number three, you believe that you need to spend money on sponsored ads or keyword ranking tricks to create more sales. Well, once you understand why this is wrong, what I'm sharing will completely change the way you view your business and you'll unlock massive profitability. You'll also finally understand how the most successful Amazon sellers in the world operate their businesses. So I have three goals for you. Goal number one today, I want you to see that the best way or the only way to grow to insane success on Amazon is to take control of your customer's journey. And I want you to realize, my friend, that the longer you put this off, the more at risk your business will be for collapse. And finally, I want you to know exactly what you need to do to instantly take control. And instead of playing in Amazon's card game, you're dealing the cards and your hand is already full of aces. Now, for anyone who knows how to play poker, if you start out with three aces, that's pretty good, right? So Sebastian literally twisted my arm and said, Sean, tell them exactly how to do it, step by step by step with each tactic. And that's what we're going to go through today. But first, let me give you another gift. My book, which Sebastian is a big fan of, Private Label Millionaire Secrets, I'm going to show you right here. You can download a free copy if you go to pppro.co forward slash PLMS, Private Label Millionaire Secrets. And you can download the free copy today. Save $25. Don't buy it on Amazon. Get your copy today. Go ahead and take a picture of that. You can do it later. That's yours free just for showing up today. Now, I want to explain something to you. 41%, 41, 41% of my revenue comes from my existing customers through follow-up marketing. Now, 41% may not seem like a lot, but if you think about it, for our $153 million business, that's accounted for over $62 million. And when I finish today, you too will know exactly how to grab those extra millions in profits that you're now leaving behind. These profits are being taken by other sellers, your competitors, and they're not gonna take you any more work all right. In fact, the longer that you wait to fix this problem, the more it's going to cost you. So it's urgent that you get started right away. Let me show you how. Don't leave today or you're going to miss this true secret. Before we jump in to secret number one, I must admit something to you. That me, myself, I am terrible at organization. I'm horrible at keeping good records and books. And I'm terrible at managing teams and business operations. But thankfully for you, I've become an absolute expert at turning businesses into profit gushing machines. Here's how it happened. When I started selling in 2013, I accidentally did things differently. It was by accident that I got this right. You see, I came from building businesses on my own without the help of Amazon or even the internet. I was responsible for everything. I had to drive my own traffic. I had to do my own fulfillment. I had to build customer trust and then squeeze every bit of profit that I could from my business. This was extremely difficult, but it gave me a huge advantage later because when I finally started to sell on Amazon, I put a tremendous amount of effort into creating relationships with my customers because that's the only way that I knew how to make profits in all my previous businesses. My approach was dramatically different than anyone else on Amazon, and it allowed us to create dozens of businesses, 53 unique brands, and I've launched over 1,000 private label products. It was only later that I realized how differently I operated from what we'll call the average Amazon seller and how much faster we were able to grow because I was much more profitable than others. When you get this stuff right, You'll take control of your future and you'll create a much more valuable business. You can quickly and easily duplicate your success. Your customers will be happier and you'll end up making a lot more profit. See, here's what most sellers are doing. And maybe this is you. You create a sale on Amazon and then you immediately go out and look for new customers. 
using sponsored ads or the latest ranking hacks. How many of you are doing this? Let me see you. Is this what we're doing? Okay. Okay. A couple of you are. But what you're doing is you're forgetting about the most profitable part. You're forgetting about the most valuable asset, and that is your customer. Here's what your business should look like. You create a sale on Amazon, and you make a little bit of money. You then send a follow-up email message, and you make another sale. Maybe send out a text SMS message, and you make an additional sale. Maybe then you send out a postcard in the mail, and you make an additional sale. What I want you to see is that everything that happens after the initial purchase is what we call post-purchase marketing. Why is this better? It's because your existing Amazon customers are the most likely people in the world to buy from you again, either the same product or another product. And when you can sell to the same customer again, you no longer need to pay for any advertising, so you're not wasting your profits on sponsored ads. By sending your customers back to your Amazon listings, this also triggers the strongest signal for Amazon to rank your products higher in keyword rankings because the traffic is coming from an external source, which we know creates more sales. And when you think about this, it completely changes the game of building businesses on Amazon, doesn't it? All the data shows that the product that your customer is most likely to buy from you is the product that they've already bought from you. And that fact changes everything. We've had customers buy the exact same products from us 27 times. 27 times. Isn't that insane? So what if all of your Amazon customers were to purchase from you more than one time? Would that make a big difference? It's an even bigger difference than you can imagine. The reason this is so powerful for Amazon sellers is because selling to your existing customers, your profitability goes through the roof because you're, when you create these additional sales, you're not paying any marketing costs like sponsored ads or PPC. So every single order is at your maximum profitability. Amazon also rewards listings that are attracting high quality external traffic, which is exactly what email traffic is. And they're rewarding you with higher keyword ranking. That means your products are showing up higher on search. Let me repeat that in case you missed it. Amazon rewards listings that attract high quality external traffic with higher keyword ranking. This means that every time we send a marketing email that sends traffic back to our Amazon listings, we're creating more sales right now and then even more ongoing because our listings are now showing up higher in keyword rankings when customers search Amazon. How many of you are with me? You, get, you understand what I'm talking about so far? Let me see. Raise your hand if you understand. Okay, most of you do. Thank you. I had a secret interview last year with a high-ranking Amazon employee who works very closely with the algorithm team. And I shared what I was seeing. I said, listen, we're seeing higher page rankings on my Amazon products just by sending external traffic, even if the traffic does not convert. And this gentleman confirmed my assumptions. He said to me, Sean, you're not reading tea leaves. What you're reading are binary truths because traffic from a clean URL that's already historically shown to be high quality, we've already made a purchase, right? Gets higher weight from Amazon. And now Amazon is admitting it publicly. Amazon, once per month, they host partner spotlight webinars. Now these webinars are designed by Amazon to help you and I as sellers understand how to maximize working with their trusted partners. Recently, Amazon hosted one of these webinars with our friends at Amped.io, and Amazon's AJ admits out loud in public that Amazon is ranking products higher in search based on external traffic. Let's take a quick listen to this short audio clip from AJ. Lumino in particular saw that their rankings climbed as more customers considered the brand for their needs. Um, also proved effective in overcoming the cold start, so accelerating the ramp of new ACEs that they've introduced to customers. Um, also improving deals visibility and overall sales. So what AJ is explaining here, and I want you to grasp this before we jump into the three simple secrets. Even if you're sending email marketing that's not 
that's not resulting in specific transactions, meaning more sales, just the idea of sending that traffic back to your listing, Amazon is now rewarding you for that traffic, okay? So for you to really understand this, I'm going to show you what these marketing secrets look like in real life. We're going to do we're going to do a uh, what we call an interactive lesson. So for those of you that have a phone or a laptop with you, I want you to go to this URL right now. Go to post purchase pro forward class forward slash lesson. That way you truly understand what's going on. Now, when you go to this URL, postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson, all you have to do is input an email address. Now, this will be part of an interactive example coming up. So it's important that you complete this now. And I'm also going to reward you by sending you a, a copy of one of my latest books, uh, the uh, 49 Amazon Seller Hacks Revealed. Now, this is not going to be part of any replay that's sent out. So you're not going to be able to do this later. We put this together specifically for those of you live in Berlin right now. Postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson. And then what you're going to do is put in your best email address and click on confirm now. Am I coming through clear there, Sebastian, with a thumbs up? Okay, good. Once you confirm, all right, you're going to get an email, but we're going to talk about this later, okay? Please pay attention because this step, my friend, will be very instrumental in this presentation, helping you understand how effective it is. So everyone's got it, right? Can we move on, Sebastian? All right, cool. So let's jump into secret number one right now. Secret number one is how to compel your Amazon customers to engage with your business at the point of purchase with an attention-getting marketing device. And then we're going to do secret number two, how to collect and manage your customers' contact information using a strategic funnel with what we call a mafia offer. Finally, we'll see secret number three. I'm going to show you exactly how you can follow up with your customers post-purchase with a world-class monetization marketing sequence that's designed to offer the customer service, enhance the user's experience, and make offers to buy more. Now, what you're going to do with your business and your brand is you're going to create an extremely valuable list of your customers. You'll build profitable relationships that generate repeat orders anytime you like. You can drive much more profitable sales, create a ton more natural reviews, and push your search term rankings higher, making yourself a lot more money. It's just good business practice that 94% of you sellers are not even thinking about. So secret number one, how can we compel your Amazon customers to engage your business at the point of purchase with an attention-getting marketing device? Remember these three core misbeliefs that I discovered? Is that you think that the best way to make more money is to attract new customers and that customers who are already shopping on Amazon are the best source of traffic you have, or you are hooked or addicted to spending money on sponsored ads with keyword ranking to create more sales. Well, the reality, my friend, is that the best way to make more money is to sell your existing customers more product. And the best source of traffic is your customer's email and text list because Amazon not only creates more sales, but they also reward external traffic with better keyword ranking. And finally, I only want you to use sponsored ads to attract new customers into your business, not so that you can transact once, but so that you can sell to those customers again and again. Don't ever be hooked on sponsored ads as a way to grow sales because you know that will cause your profits to continue spiraling downward. Think about this instead. When you own your traffic, you can create sales anytime you like because now you know that your customer's first order on Amazon is only the beginning. When you can orchestrate post-purchase marketing, you no longer need to rely on new buyer traffic from Amazon to create sales, and you no longer need to overpay for advertising. With this, your Amazon business becomes what I call a profitable customer acquisition channel and your business can generate profit and cash flow anytime you like. Here's a quick story. When we first started on Amazon, I had a big problem. I already understand the power of a customer list, and I know that if I have a customer list, I can make it rain money. We could produce sales on demand and drive keyword ranking to produce even more sales. We could increase our profit substantially, but here's the problem. 
Amazon also knows how valuable the customer list are. So they try to prevent you and I from building our own valuable customer list. Amazon wants control. They want to own and control the most valuable asset. That is the customer list. Think about it. They continue blocking access to more and more of the customers that you and I are serving. They're not going to show us your customer's email, the mailing address, phone number, and they're trying to keep all of the information to themselves. So what can we do? As Sebastian said, tell them, Sean, step by step. So here it comes. To stay within terms of service, we must create a situation where the customer chooses to seek us out. And the simplest way to start building your own customer list is to include a product insert with your product. But most of you are totally getting this wrong. And I was no different. I was just like you. I created a product insert that said, register your warranty, join my VIP club. And you can probably guess what happened, right? Hardly anyone would opt it in, like less than 1%. But I had a very big advantage. Remember, I've launched over 1,000 unique products and I've created hundreds of unique product inserts and I started to see patterns of what made product inserts successful. Eventually, we developed a formula to create high converting product inserts and here's what I figured out. Every single product serves a unique customer. Now, this may sound simple, but look how profound it really is. To create a product insert that converts, you must think about your customer's perspective and put yourself in the mind of your customer at the time of opening your package and ask yourself this question. What offer would be so compelling that my customer would drop everything they're doing and take action on the offer immediately? There are also a lot of psychological triggers that you can use to boost your opt-ins, but at the core, my friend, you must create a mafia offer. A mafia offer is simply an offer that's so good that people would feel stupid saying no. So you're probably asking yourself, what's an example of a mafia offer? Well, let me ask you, is this a mafia offer? Join my VIP club. No, this is not a mafia offer. How about register your warranty? Sorry, not a mafia offer. What about this? Get 20% off your next purchase. This is a little bit better, but it's not a mafia offer. Look, a mafia offer speaks directly to your customer's desires. It's not just a bland or generic offer that might appeal to some of your customers. So let's imagine you're selling a fat loss fitness product and you create this offer. Opt in with an email address and I'll give you complimentary digital membership with the top 17 workouts for fat loss, a value of $250. You'll also get first in line access to new product launches, a $100 value. I'll send you a free body tape measure, a $10 value, lifetime priority customer service, a value of $200, and I'll include lifetime product replacement support, a value of $50. That, my friend, is a mafia offer. And when we got this right, our opt-ins went from less than 1% to over 88%. Once you create a mafia offer, you no longer have a product insert. You have what I call an attention-getting marketing device. Everything good, Sebastian? Good. Here's what we do. Step number one in Sebastian style, create attention-getting marketing device. And we're going to dive into each one of these steps. Step two, offer tremendous value for your customer so that you can drive engagement. Step three, never ask for something that's against terms of service, like a review or an offsite purchase. Step four, offer an incredible product experience by supporting the product. Five, give your customers a way to opt in to receive your value. Now let's take a look at each individual task one by one. Create an attention-getting marketing device. This very first step is where 87% of you are getting it wrong. Now let's talk about terms of service now and get that out of the way. How many of you by show of hands believe that a product insert is illegal or against terms of service? Let me see you. One of you in the back, two of you. Okay, let's talk about it. Now I'm going to admit that product inserts have gotten a bad name recently. In fact, 
We've all probably heard war stories in Facebook groups about seller accounts getting banned for using inserts, right? Well, it's not the insert that's getting the account banned. It's the language on the insert and what the sellers are doing with the opt-in that's getting their accounts banned. Think about this. If you bought a new pair of Nike sneakers and there was a QR code on the shoe box that says, scan the QR code, download my Nike free run app, would that be against terms of service? No. Every single major consumer package good and other national household name brands choose any they have contact information in and on the packaging where you can email support, call customer service, et cetera. What if you bought a brand new Keurig coffee maker, or in your case, this would be a Nest, Nest Cap, right? <laughs> if you bought a new coffee maker on Amazon and you had to go to Keurig.com to register your warranty, is that against terms of service? No. All they're doing in these scenarios is enhancing your end user experience, providing world-class customer support. So if you were to include video instructions so that your customers know how to properly lose, use your product, all that is is customer support. But here's what I'm seeing in your products then you're calling product inserts. I ask that you please don't ever try to circumvent the Amazon's ordering process getting me to go to your Shopify store to make a purchase. Please don't try to manipulate Amazon's reviews, right? Don't ask for honest, unbiased reviews. And by all means, please don't try to circumvent Amazon's algorithm and ranking your products. All we need to do is offer tremendous value in step number two and get your customers to drive engagement, okay? This is always going to be about providing an excellent customer experience. This is not about you, the seller. This is about him or her, the buyer. The value that you offer should also be a no-brainer, where any reasonable Amazon shopper will want to take action. You'll need to come up with a value proposition that's in line with your product experience. This is very important because even though it's funny, I've seen things like a hammer being offered on Amazon and the value proposition is a how-to video. So let's just admit it. If you need to watch a how-to video on how to use a hammer, you probably need to just hire a carpenter, right? It just doesn't make sense. What we like to use are first-in-line access to product launches, valuable digital content, product replacement programs, priority customer service, safety videos, instructional videos, complimentary bonus products, newsletters, app downloads, and more. You get the idea, right? It must be relevant to your customer and the purchase that he made. And then we use psychological triggers to boost conversions, like urgency, scarcity, all right, value, reciprocity, social proof, and authority. Step three, never ask for something that's against terms of service, like a review or the latest ranking manipulation scheme. If you're trying to manipulate your rankings by using some black hat hack, or you try to bribe your customers to leave an honest, unbiased review, you know who you are. Then you are 100% breaking terms of service and you will be caught eventually. Just give value and keep the customer's experience top priority and you will win this game. Step number four, offer an incredible product experience by supporting your product. This is about the end user's experience. It's about demonstrating world-class product experience. It's about building a brand through awareness and support. And this is the difference, my friends, in owning an Amazon business versus owning a very valuable brand that you can exit for millions of dollars. Step five in secret one, give your customers a way to opt in to receive your promised value. You see, your customers must have a way to engage you to redeem the proposed value from the Mafia offer. You'll use the same core principles that we use when creating the Mafia offer to make a landing page and capture your customers' email and phone numbers. Now, Sebastian, before we get into secret number two, let me just unmute you and see if we have any questions so far. How are we doing today? So far, everything all right. Any questions out there? Oh, 
Okay, so, hold on just a second. Okay. Da vorne, ich weiß, ich würde immer erstmal trocken und die Basics, aber glaub mir, jetzt kommen so ein paar Hacks eben raus und die sind deutlich besser. Also es wird noch, noch geiler. Keep going, I just told you that this was all the dry stuff so far and now the fun is starting. <laughs> all right, here we go. Secret number two. How to collect and manage your customer's contact information using a strategic funnel with a valuable offer. All right, we're going to look at each step one by one, and then we're going to break down those steps. But first, I like to tell stories, right? So let me tell you a story. When we first started, we were very unorganized. This is actually images from our warehouse and office. Our warehouse looked like a tornado had gone through it. That's my brother on the left. Shane is his name. And that's one of his uh, staff members in our warehouse. Our staff was confused. This is my business partner, Seth's brother, on our forklift. All right? There was no room to park the forklift. And we were receiving huge piles of checks in the mail. Just look at this. We even had to use a specific laptop and separate internet connection for every single brand. Even though we could produce massive results with our email campaigns, we were working hard, not smart. And then we discovered two magic words, funnel automation. And from then on, it was Nirvana. While everyone else was in the back of the warehouse playing ping pong, Seth and Michael and myself, we started attacking our Amazon customer email list with a vengeance and sending out promotional emails. Seth even slept in his office from time to time so they can catch up on work. But once we automated the entire process, it became easier and easier. This is me back in 2014. Anytime a new order was delivered to our customers around the U.S., our customers would be surprised with great offers and reasons to join our mailing list. So we began building massive lists and taking control of the entire post-purchase process through automations. And now, of course, we have an entire system in place for that. This is a secret. Okay? Trust me when I tell you, you cannot do this stuff manually. You must use automation tools to be successful. Or better yet, you can just hire someone to do this for you. Because 41% of our revenue is just too much to ignore. Here's what we do. Step one, your customer will follow a link, scan a QR code, or send a text message to claim your valuable mafia offer. Step two, your strategic funnel will capture the customer's contact information and then deliver the value you promised. Step three, your funnel will tag your customers in order to sort them according to purchases. This is segmentation. Step four, your customers will fall into the correct segments for your post-purchase marketing. That way we're sending content that's relevant. Step five, all of the value promised will be immediately sent through email so that we can train your customers to search, open, and engage with your emails. Finally, step six, I'm going to show you how doing it this way will spike your sender reputation so your future messages will be delivered to their inbox. Now let's take a look at each individual step. Number one, your customer will follow a link, scan a QR code, or send a text message to claim your valuable offer. You have to make this simple or the customer will not take action. Don't try to get cute here. Just tell them exactly what to do and how to do it. Like, keep it simple and straightforward for maximum results. Here's what you get. Here's how to get it. This won't be available forever. So do it right now before you forget. Step number two, your strategic funnel will capture the customer's contact information and deliver the value that you promised. We use automations within ClickFunnels for this process, like this page, how to generate 235,013 visitors per month without spending a dollar on ads. It's simple, straightforward, throw in your email address and we'll send you the free report, right? The automation inside of the funnel page automatically emails or texts the value that you promised, and we do that through third-party integrations like MailChimp, Twilio, or AWeber. It's important to not deliver the value on the next page. Instead, the next page shows you that the sign-up was successful. Include a warm welcome message and language something like this. I've just sent you a very important email that looks like this show a screenshot of the email. It includes your special link. 
Go check your email right now to claim this free bonus. If you don't see it in your inbox, please check your junk or spam folder and move it to your inbox so that you'll receive our follow-up messages. It's important to click the link inside your email to claim your free gift. All right? The reason we do it this way is because this shows the SMTPs, the email service providers of the world, think Gmail, Hotmail, and so on, that your message is trustworthy. Your message is relevant. It's valuable since the customer opened it immediately and took action by clicking the link in that message. This is what we call the slippery slope effect, where every single step along the process leads to an exact step that we want and have laid out for them. This is why we create a customer flow for each new product or service that we launch. You see, every single interaction and follow-up interaction with your customer needs to provide value and further build rapport in that relationship. Step three, when done this way, your funnel will tag your customers in order to sort them according to what they purchased. Trust me, you cannot use your vacation autoresponder in Gmail to get this done. Every single product, every launch, every listing has a unique value proposition and mafia offer that goes along with it. Like, look at this funnel. On the back end of ClickFunnels, you can see in the Automations tab, as soon as someone completes the entry of opting in, they will immediately be sent an SMS message that says, hey, you've made a great decision, blah, blah, blah. They immediately also get an email that says your bonuses are inside. There's a reason we do it this way. Your customers will fall into the correct segments for your post-purchase marketing. When your customers are tagged based on what they ordered, how much money they spent, and which offer compelled action, you can finally speak to your customers in a tone that makes sense for them, right? And a language that's congruent with what they purchased. When you do it this way, you dramatically increase your opens and engagements. Step five in secret two, all the value will be immediately sent through email in order to train your customers to search, open, and engage your emails. Remember, don't put the value on the next page. Instead, send it in an email and then alert your customer of that email to help future delivery. Step six, finally, this will spike your sender reputation so that your future messages will be delivered. This little known secret is what gets us inboxed with huge open rates that drive massive results. All right, look at this. Customer receives the product insert, visits the landing page, the landing page delivers the value through automation. The customer lands on page two of your funnel. Page two explains that the email was sent. The customer then goes to his inbox to collect the value by opening and clicking. In this way, Hotmail, Gmail, AOL, etc., will view your message as trustworthy. Now, remember this interactive lesson from earlier? You went to postpurchasepro.com forward slash lesson. It's time to complete that lesson. Please go to your inbox on your phone or your computer right now and find this email that I sent you. It says it's from Sean and Seth from Post Purchase Pro. It looks like this. Go ahead and open that up now. Let's open that email. Here's what it looks like. It says from Sean and Seth to Post Purchase Pro, action required. This is really important, so read this email carefully. All we need to do, okay, is complete the four steps in the email. Add us to your contact. Mark this email as important. If you found it in your spam folder, move it to your inbox. And most important, as soon as you have completed the three steps above, go ahead and click the link that says you've finished. Now, is everyone finished here, Sebastian? We'll just give them a moment. This is important that you understand this because what we're doing here is I'm practicing with you the exact same training that I designed to show you how to spike your sender reputation. And what we've done is, uh-oh, there we go. We just spiked our sender reputation with our email service provider known as A. Weber. okay? Now this, this is the one thing I want to stand out to you. 81% when we do this, 81% of sellers will open and engage in that email. 81% and 61% of you click it. So what that's doing is that's proving to the 
SMTPs, that simple mail transfer protocol, Gmail we'll call it, that my email is relevant and, and trustworthy to you. Why do we do it this way? It's because when I send you a future follow-up to try to get you to my Amazon listing to make an additional purchase, I can know that that email will be delivered to your inbox and not the junk folder. Now, as an additional bonus for doing this, I'm already sending you, you probably have it already, the beta version of my Amazon book. It's called uh, 49 Amazon Seller Hacks Revealed. You're going to get that via PDF in your email very quickly, okay, just to reward you for playing along. All right, now let's jump into secret number three. Before I do, let me unmute Sebastian. Do we have any questions about number two? All right, I got the thumbs up. Let's do this. So secret number two. Oops, sorry, let me mute you again. There we go. Secret number three, how to follow up with your customers post-purchase with a world-class monetization marketing sequence that offers customer service enhances the user's experience and offers to buy more. Now, all businesses and brands all over the world pay for buyer traffic, maybe through billboard signs on the freeway, TV ads, direct mail, radio, or any other form of media. But Amazon sends you buyers every day for better than free. Let me just slow down for a minute, for a minute so you understand what I'm saying. If you're selling products at a profit on Amazon, then you make a profit from customer acquisition. You're just not seeing it that way yet. Because if you make profitable sales, then you are getting paid to get new customers. Does that make sense? You have new customers every day. You only need to deploy monetization marketing to that customer list and create a lifetime relationship that is mutually beneficial. Let me tell you another story. In 2010, over a decade ago, I discovered the true value of my customer list through a company where I sold a product called iHeaters. I sent a follow-up direct mail campaign, a postcard in the post box, yes, to my customers and created half a million dollars in revenue with one single sending. This very tiny, ugly, unremarkable postcard, yes, I designed. Designing is not my specialty, obviously. I sent this out to my customer list of 73,000 warranty registration users and created half a million dollars in sales. Let me just see here. Go ahead. Just I uh, want to explain what that product is because uh, you can't really tell from the picture. Okay. Yeah, so, so this product is a space heater that is used to heat a small space inside of your home to uh, save on your electricity bill. Um, but the product really is irrelevant. <laughs> What I want you to understand is, is not the product. What I want you to understand is that I created a list of 73,000 customers who had purchased this product and registered a warranty. And by reaching out to that list, I was able to create repeat purchases to the exact same customer for the same product. The first time I mailed out this postcard, it generated half a million dollars in sales. So I mailed it again. And what happened? Every single time I sent this exact same offer, same postcard to the same list, it would do 500,000 in sales, give or take. In fact, it never produced less than 400,000 in sales. And the reason I want you to understand this is because this is where you're probably getting it wrong. What you're doing is you send out a follow-up email and you get almost no sales or only a small amount of sales, so you quit. But your customer needs to hear from you. Your customer will not always be ready to make a purchase, right? But you don't stop at Burger King every time you drive by, but that doesn't prevent Burger King from advertising. So you need to be the same. You have to understand to be successful in your monetization marketing, you have to be front and center, top of mind. We engage our customers again and again to stay top of mind through emails and postcards and follow-up text. Are we being annoying? Well, no. Do we see unsubscribes? Of course we do. But do we see more sales? How about 62,730,000? I say it's worth it. Now think about this. If you also had a physical storefront on the street selling men's suits or lady shoes, doesn't matter, would you truly expect to only have one transaction with each person who walks in? Of course not. 
you try to nurture each customer to get them to come back again and again. This is just called a business. And my question to you, my friends, why should your Amazon business be any different? Here's what we do. Step one, we use an amazing monetization marketing sequence to entertain and educate your customers ongoing. Two, we develop trust with your customers to build on that relationship. We always offer value and make soft offers to purchase more. We continue the same cadence until the customer chooses to opt out of the sequence but we're able to capture up to 67% more sales to the same customer without spending a penny on paid ads. Now let's dive into each individual task. One, use an amazing monetization marketing sequence to entertain and educate your customers over several weeks. The truth is email is not dead. Email is also not one and done. Email, I want you to understand, is a longer conversational relationship building channel. It's one of the most profitable marketing channels in existence because in today's hyperactive world, email stands out as a way to privately communicate with your customers at the time that they choose. Think about it. If I send you an email, you don't necessarily have to open and engage immediately. You open and engage at a time that you choose. It's very non-interrupting marketing. We like to create what we call monetization marketing, where each highly valued email delivers great content, sometimes includes an offer, and always, always, always ends with like a cliffhanger that teases what's coming in the next email. It's sort of like watching a television program where they may say, tune in next week or you're likely to miss this, this, and this. Step two, we develop trust with your customers to build on that relationship. Always remember that your customer, like you and I, is a human, and you need to build and nurture a relationship with them just like you would if you had a bricks and mortar store. This is where they'll come to know and trust you so that you become the obvious best choice when he needs to make another purchase. Your customers will continue to shop online well after they purchase your product, right? So why not earn as many of those repeat purchases or referrals as possible? Step three, always offer value and don't forget to make soft offers to purchase more from you. Now, we all like to buy stuff, right? But how many of us like to be sold? I know I don't. If your email or text only push sales, then sure, you'll get some more sales, but you'll also see unsubscribes after a few weeks. Just educate and entertain your customers with valuable conversational emails, and then add soft offers in each email. Like this, use coupon codes in your sign-offs or links to your store in the postscript section. Maybe include buttons to your one-time offers in the body of your email. Don't be afraid to ask for more orders, just offer value first. Step four, you need to continue the same cadence until the customer opts out of your sequence. Once your customer is trained to open and engage in your messages, the worst thing in the world you can do is stop sending. You need to develop a cadence and stick with it. Don't sweat the unsubscribes, all right? They're going to happen. Instead, focus on your active subscribers because that's where the true value is for you and your brand. Don't forget that 41% of our 153 million in sales comes from this exact process. And in my business today, 50% or more of our revenue comes from email follow-ups. And we see the same for our hundreds of clients around the world that we work with. Step five, you can capture up to 67% more sales to the exact same customer without spending a penny on paid ads. You see, this is what I know. When you own and control your traffic, like an email list, then you can send traffic to your store whenever you want for next to free. If you don't own some of your traffic, then unfortunately, you're forced to rely on Amazon buyer traffic to search, find, and buy your products among thousands of other offers or worse. You have to pay for sponsored ads traffic to drive sales, which as we know, eats away at our profits. Please start building the list of your best Amazon customers right now and control your future. Let me ask you a question. Do you agree that if you had a post-purchase funnel in place 
that helped you gather and manage hundreds of your best Amazon customer contacts each day and delivered an amazing user experience that naturally created new purchases for your products on Amazon without the need for paid ads, do you think you would be more successful? Let me see you. Yes, of course you would. In all honesty, the advice that I'm giving you today is the exact same advice that I give my own children every single day. And then I want to invite you to check out a free Amazon store analysis tool. If you go at any time to postpurchasepro.com, you can paste in your store URL and we will analyze the store for you and send you a quick report on what you could be missing out on by not having a post-purchase funnel in place. So find out how much revenue you're missing out on at postpurchasepro.com. Your business currently looks like this. You create a sale, nothing. It could look like this. Create a sale, you send out a mafia offer with a funnel opt-in page, and then continuous monetization marketing brings in more and more post-purchase sales for you. Find out how you can do that at postpurchasepro.com. No strings attached or go to pppro.co forward slash Berlin. And I'm coming in nine minutes early. How do you like that, Sebastian? Let's open up questions. The free drinks will start at 5 p.m. So, yep, let's wrap it up. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, we have a question. Or no, he took a picture. No questions. You got a rowdy group over there, man. If you don't have any questions, Sebastian, I'm going to go have me a free drink. All fantastic. I think that's... Uh, oh, there's a question. Does this work for every kind of car? Does it work for any type of car? A blip? Does it work for any type of target group? Yes. And the reason this is true is because uh, Amazon shoppers are going to be Amazon shoppers. After they purchase your product, regardless of what that is, they're going to continue shopping online. Maybe they're not always going to be ready to purchase another toilet seat or a claw hammer or a pump handle. But at some point, if you're top of mind and you're providing engaging content, then they will make another purchase or they will refer a friend. So how many of you have made a purchase on Amazon and then a friend inquired about a product and you said, hey, wait a second, let me send you the link where I purchased this so that you can buy the same product. That's called a referral. We do this with products. We, we work with hundreds and hundreds of sellers all over the globe where we do this as a service and we see people purchasing products like my pillow product up to 27 times. Ridiculous. It's not up to you, the seller, to answer the question, will my buyer buy more? It's up to you, the seller, to ask that question. Let your customer answer the question with its credit card. Hopefully that makes sense. Any more questions, Sebastian? Um, Sean, I guess we'll have, the, of course, a possibility later on to uh, um, maybe watch the recording again, see it uh, maybe with a clearer voice. I guess one of the problems here really is the sound system. It's okay. horrible. Okay. Well, you can use the QR code here to download. This, this QR code will, will allow you to download all of the slides from today. And if you have any questions uh, following this presentation, you can always email CS, like customer support, CS at postpurchasepro.com. We'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Hey, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Please forgive me for not being able to make the trip. I'll see you soon. I know down the road I'm going to be working with Sebastian for many, many uh, months or years into the future. Thank you. God bless you all, and I wish you happy drinking. <laughs>